Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Bob, for that uh, very, very kind introduction. And thank you for the strong partnership between Honda and Ohio. And thank you, thank you for being here at the State House today to make this exciting, exciting announcement. Bob, we appreciate Honda. We appreciate our strong bond with you uh, and with all of your team and of all the Honda associates. Truly, today is a great day for Ohio. You know, Bob talked about the, the shared vision that Mr. Honda and Governor Rhodes had. Truly, they were both visionaries. I first knew Governor Rhodes when I was a young state senator serving in these, in these buildings. His dreams were based on a core belief, and that core belief and his great conviction that Ohioans dream big, and that Ohioans can make anything. <clears throat> I learned from my dad many years ago when he ran our family seed company that business is built on trust and it's built on relationships. And that's what got us here today, a long-term relationship built on trust over more than four decades. As you've heard on this very day, this very day 45 years ago, this building, Honda announced it was coming to Ohio, building its first U.S. plant in Marysville. And then over the years, Honda added Anna, East Liberty, as well as their project development center. We have worked, Ohio and Honda, so very closely together. We've worked very closely with Honda on this project. One of the first things that Fran and I did after I was sworn in as governor in 2019, we went to Tokyo, went to the office, met with the leaders of Honda. We were warmly welcomed to the Honda headquarters and we really enjoyed our visit, getting to know our Tokyo friends at Honda. Today, our bond is stronger. The bond between Ohio and Honda is stronger than ever before. Now, not only are we announcing today that Honda is investing in the future of Honda's Marysville, Anna, and East Liberty plants, but there's more. In addition to the new electric vehicles that will be produced at these three separate plants, we are announcing today that the batteries these vehicles will rely on to run will also be produced right here in the state of Ohio. <clears throat> These batteries will be produced by your fellow Ohioans. They will be made at a brand new $3.5 billion electric vehicle manufacturing company. This new facility, this new facility will bring at least 2,200 new jobs to Ohio. What a great way, what a great way to celebrate 45 years of working together. As the logo says, we built today, let's build tomorrow. And you know it's our amazing Ohio workers who have built Honda's vehicles for over four decades. And it will be our Ohio workers who build Honda's new electric vehicles, as well as the batteries that power them. The number one reason companies make their home in Ohio is our Ohio workers. And 
And so as Honda transitions to the vehicles of the future, they're going to do it in Ohio with Ohioans. We will move forward and we will build the future together. While what we drive and how we drive may be changing, one thing that will never change is the grit, the determination, the ingenuity, and the work ethic of our Ohio workers. Quite simply, quite simply, we have the best, most talented workforce in the world living right here in the greatest place in the world to live, and that is the state of Ohio. And things are happening, things are happening all over the Buckeye State. Ohio will soon be the home of the most advanced semiconductor manufacturing site in the entire world when Intel builds its fabs in Licking County. And it's not just Intel, not just Intel. New manufacturing companies are locating across the state. Just a couple of weeks ago, GM announced that it will soon begin building electric drive motors at its plant in Toledo. In June, Ford announced it was expanding its Avon Lake production facility for electric vehicle production, creating around 2,000 new jobs. Leading aerospace company, Sierra Nevada Corporation, recently set up operations near the Dayton Airport. And then there's global cooling in Athens County, where they make and sell ultra-cold freezers to store and transport things such as vaccines. Aldium Cells in the Mahoning Valley is making electric, will be making electric vehicle batteries. And SEMCORP, which recently located in Sydney, is part of the electric vehicle battery supply chain. There's so much, many other things as well. There's also Nestle Purina, which is producing high quality pet food in Claremont County. So many, many other things as well. Now in just a moment, Bob is going to announce the exact place where the new Honda electric battery factory will be built. Bob will do that. But let me just say, maybe a little teaser, this new plant will draw workers from parts of Appalachia and from counties near three, three of our major metropolitan areas. My fellow Ohioans, Ohio's taken off. Ohio's expansion and the growth of so many other manufacturing facilities in Ohio sends a message to the world. If you're a company looking to relocate or expand, Ohio is the place to be. Of course, great projects like this require collaboration. A lot of people work very, very hard to get to this moment today. I want to thank everyone who had a part in this, including Lieutenant Governor John Houston, did a great job, J.P. Nassif and his team at Jobs Ohio, Director Lydia Mihalik and her team at the Ohio Department of Development, Jeff Hoagland and his team at the Dayton Development Coalition, the folks at One Columbus, the Ohio Manufacturers Association, our friends in the General Assembly, let me just say, Mr. Speaker, Mr. President, thank you for not only being here, but thank you for supporting this. Thank you for all that you do to make Ohio a, a better state and to keep us moving forward. Thank you to both of you. I want to also thank, we have local officials who've been very much involved uh, in this. To Honda, and LG Energy Solutions, thank you. Thank you for your trust in Ohio. Thank you for your faith in Ohio. Thank you for your big investment in Ohio. It truly demonstrates what can happen when the power of dreams becomes reality. So Bob, come on back up and give them the rest of the details on your new battery plant. Thank you all very much. Thank <laughs> you.